everyone, this is Zapar Zions from Noble Desktop, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the speed graph editor in Adobe After Effects. Today we're going to be working with uh, the speed graph to add custom easing to this triangle here. And after going through like the default easy easing, I'm going to show you how to get a custom ease using the graph editor. So you can see here's what the project looks like when we're done. So the thing is, the speed graph won't change the value of whatever properties you're editing, and it won't change how long the animation is either. But what it does do is add custom easing so you can control your object's acceleration and deacceleration. So this is useful for when you have all your keyframes all set, but you want like a more interesting look to the motion. While there is a value graph, the speed graph offers uh, more refined and accurate control, as well as being more straightforward once you get the hang of it. There's no external assets here, so you won't have to worry about that. And yeah, with that, let's begin. So the first thing that we're gonna be doing is select all of these triangles, hit P for position, hit this little stopwatch, and we're just gonna be animating a, you know, a straight ahead single line animation. So I moved my, um, my playhead in like around 20 frames, grab any of these selected keyframes, drag it up, hold down shift so they all move in a straight line. And there we go. They're all moving in a straight line. Very, very basic. And now let's start adding our eases. So you might be familiar with some of these, but we're gonna go through all of these one by one. So no ease is the leftmost triangle. So that one uh, we're gonna be leaving alone. And easy ease, we're going to select both of these keyframes, uh, right click on either little uh, keyframe, and we're gonna go to keyframe assistant, plain old easy ease. So, you know, like I said, the first triangle, that's going to be for comparison. That one's, uh, we're leaving it alone. Um, but easy ease, what that one does is it, um, it eases the speed coming into and out of the keyframes. So you may not be able to tell just yet, but it'll be a little more obvious once we get um, a couple more eases on these to uh, show you the comparison. The uh, third triangle over here, again, select both triangles, right click on either selected triangle, keyframe assistant, and this is our easy ease out. So this one eases the speed coming out of the keyframes after the keyframe's been uh, reached. And the last one over here is the opposite. Again, select both keyframes, keyframe assistant, easy ease in. And as you can guess, this one eases the speed going into the keyframes. So let me show you what all the keyframes look like. So I've hidden the rightmost keyframe for now because that's the one that I want to use to add custom keyframes to, but um, check it out. Now you'll notice that all the triangles reach the other end in the same amount of time, but you can see that every single triangle has a different acceleration. And you know, these are all important to know for if you want different kinds of looks to your animation, but the last uh, keyframe, the sorry, the last triangle is going to be modified with uh, custom eases, and I'll show you how that's going to allow you to have a much more um, refined and and custom, uh, personalized kind of look to the animation. But you know, these these are pretty good for just right out of the box, and the leftmost one is it's plain. It, you know, it's just straight ahead. All right, with that, let's get into the custom ease one. So I'm going to select custom ease. I'm going to select my keyframes. And then this is the graph editor. So I'm going to click that and, you know, don't be scared. A lot of people get intimidated by the look of this, but if you remember from grade school or wherever, it's, it's just a graph. There's only two values on the left side and the right side, uh, sorry, the left side and the bottom axis, the bottom side. So let's just make sure that we are in the speed graph. Um, what we're gonna be doing is let's head over to the graph icon here. And you can see that I'm already in speed graph. You might be seeing something else. If you see this, like these red and green lines, that's something else. We just wanna be seeing that white line in edit speed graph. And in order to get a bit more of a look at it, I'm gonna extend my, my view a bit. And right now it's straight ahead. And I want to, again, stress that this graph manipulates speed. It's, it's not the value itself. It's not, you know, position, rotation, scale, etc. It's, it's the speed of those properties. So you can see that the left side, you may not be able to, um, 
uh, the, it's, you know, it's not labeled, but this leftmost side, if you're familiar with graphs, this measures the um, speed, you know, how fast it's going or how slow. And the bottom axis is for time. And you can see that labeled like everything else on the timeline by, by the frames. Now the line itself, now that represents the actual property we're animating. So in this case, it's gonna be, this is showing our position, this white line. Now this might seem a little abstract, but once we start animating, you'll see what I mean. So I'm gonna select my curve right here. And the graph editor comes with a couple of preset curves. Um, and the shape of the curve affects how much the speed changes with steep curves being sharper changes and smooth hills being more gradual. So let's just work through these. So this uh, is a hold. So it's not really that noticeable with a two frame. Sorry, let me turn on the visibility. It's not as visible with, um, you know, just a two frame animation, but a hold really just, it, it doesn't interpolate. It doesn't fill in the spaces in between these keyframes. It just, what you know, one moment I'm here, next keyframe, boop, I'm right over here. Um, we can change them to linear, which it's, it's pretty basic. It's, you know, kind of what you'd see right out of the gate. If this were curved, it would set it right back to a line, hence the name linear. Now the third option here is convert selected keyframes to auto Bezier. I only have two keyframes here, so it's not really gonna do too much for me, but what it typically does is turn your um, straight line here into a nice curve. Um, I don't really have that much to work with at this point um, for that to really give me an effect. But um, if you have a couple of keyframes and you hit it, then it'll make a nice smooth uh, rounded curve for you over here. And by the way, um, it also, if you don't want to just, you know, click, right click and do the keyframe assistant thing, you could hit, you know, easy ease for this kind of curve. And you can see this actually mirrors the easy ease um, look of the other triangle. You can do the, the ease in and the ease out tri um, curves, just remember to get everything selected. Um, easy is out, you know, that's what that one looks like, but you can see that the shape of this curve dictates what the, um, you know, the acceleration of my triangle over time. All right. So let's get this back to where we started. And now let's uh, manipulate these um, Bezier handles. So if you click on either one of these little points, that's going to give you um, this little yellow handle. And by dragging it around, I can manipulate this curve. So you can see that if I'm playing my animation and then, you know, the steeper I get this thing, the more extreme that's gonna look like at the beginning. And I highly encourage you to just set down some keyframes and kind of go wild with you know, this, uh, this tool with this curve. Ooh. But you see, as the animation starts heading towards the steeper and steeper curve, the values get crunched together. And so it's speeding up, it's accelerating. Um, and you can make some pretty wacky shapes with this. Let's see what that looks like. That was kind of nice. But for our purposes, um, I'm sending it back to the, the original. Um, I want it to uh, accelerate and then slowly deaccelerate. And for that, remember deacceleration has the curve going downwards, acceleration has the curve going upwards, and I want it to be sudden. So I want this to be pretty much pointy, you know? I want it to look extreme at one end. So kind of like that. It takes a little bit of a shifting, a little bit of patience, but let's play it. Oh, it's a little bit too fast for my liking. So I'm going to pull this handle out. Try that again. Still a little bit too fast. So I'm going to be pushing this value down, pulling the hill a little bit up. So it's not a, that extreme, even though I said I wanted extreme. Okay, this is something I like a lot more. 
All right. So the speed graph editor is pretty powerful. It can be used on pretty much anything that can be keyframed. You can use it to give um, your animation more subtle, interesting motion to rotation, scale, position, effects, etc. And while you can make your own custom curves in the editor, you can also just use the preset curves if you press for time. It adds a lot more depth and polish to otherwise simple animations. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope you've enjoyed learning how to use the speed graph editor in Adobe After Effects. This has been Sapar Designs for Noble Desktop.